Hello again, it's Susan. Um, and this is video seven. <laughs> I haven't really realized where the videos were stopping and ending, so I wasn't real sure what number we were actually in when I was recording. But now, I think I know, I think it's seven. Um, but um, I am very inspired, y'all. I am, I come by it honestly. My mother is this, she's a vignette person, I'm a vignette person. I mean, I can, um, I just love doing them. Um, and I, I seem to have a knack for it. I don't want to brag. I'm not trying to say that I'm like really good at putting these things together, but I'm pretty decent at it. But, um, since I have done this, I have been, I am totally inspired and I, I'm going to do this book differently than I've ever done it before. Um, cause I've never, like I said, y'all, I've never really used washi paper in my albums and I am really excited where this is going to go. So you're going to think I'm crazy, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I am totally going to do it. Now, um, for this little, this little spot here, um, the one we talked about, I mean, normally I would just use a black pen, um, but let me think about this for a minute. How do I want to do this? Um, because this washi tape, I want to carry out to the theme of the book, all right? And I'm thinking to either, I'm thinking to put either the washi tape here or here. And I normally, let me think about this. You know what, I think I'm gonna put it here. I think, hmm, okay, now I'm not sure, and the reason why is because I'm trying to think of what paper I'm going to use. Um, so with that said, um, we're going to go to the paper first, because I don't want it to be too busy, but I, I, I have thought of a few different places to use this washi tape to pull it all together as a theme. And um, I know that that is a Tim Holtz washi tape, but there are a whole lot of butterflies in the Madame Payrod paper. Um, and there's more butterflies in the Madame Payrod than there is in the, uh, in the Tim Holtz paper. And I thought that this would still go. Um, I thought that it would still match okay. I'm just going to look. So generally when I'm looking at my papers, the first thing I do is I find the cover pages. Um, and right now I'm just looking in here for inspiration, all right? So don't mind me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. So I looked at that. Let me look at the... I love that page, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, ADHD. Um... Let me look at the other papers. And I just already started looking through them. I looked through them last night because I'm really trying to figure out which stack I want to use. I'm not sure. I have not decided. So you really you get the same feel from both of these paper stacks. So, I mean, I think e any, either one would work okay. Yeah, totally either one. And, um... And I think, I think I really want to keep it with the butterfly thing. I think. I don't think you can have too many butterflies, so. Um, the first thing that I would do is pick my covers. My cover, take, pick your covers first and take them out so you don't accidentally cut them up. It can happen, trust me, I know. Now see, I think I could have a lot of fun with that cover. And I think it would go with the washi really well. I don't know if you saw that or not. But I think I could really do something cool with that. All right, I'm liking the, the plain purple for some strange reason. Well, it can't be that I just love purple, can it? All right, and that is the cover, so you don't that. Um, really don't want anything too terribly busy. 
I like to try to keep it toned down on the front just a little bit sometimes so that my embellishments can really shine for whatever I decide to do. There, there's a lot of busy going on in this paper. Um, but there's, and w when I say that, there's a lot of busy going on in the paper means the pages are going to be a little busy. So I have to figure out which one I'm going to commit to. I know, I say that word all the time. <laughs> you may think I have a problem with commitment. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> I committed to my husband. It took me a while. <laughs> Not to commit to him, but to commit in general. But, uh, so that word is, it does have some meaning for me. Um, yep. Not sure. Uh, with the Tim Holtz paper, See, the crazy Susan would just mix the two. <laughs> but I don't think people like to do that very much. Oh, I love that cover. That's so pretty. Oh, you know what? I like that for the cover. Uh, that's really pretty. Alright. So, we don't have a lot of plain sheets for pages. And we need some plain sheets. We've got, it looks like we've got purple, blue, um, and this tan or taupe color with the pink. So that is, that might be enough, quite honestly. Let's see. So we have the taupes, the blues. We will also definitely use every bit of that paper. Um, let's see, I know there was some more in here that I could use. Alright. Oh, love that paper too. Okay. This is taupey enough to where it could be used for a not so busy page, probably. All right. Yeah, I wish y'all could tell me, which one do you think? And I am thinking, I'm thinking Madame Peyrod. I was dying to use it the first day I got it, so. Of course I was dying to use every single paper stack I've ever bought. But. See with this paper we have a lot of b-sides that are well some of them are busy and some of them are flat. Like that's a good one. Truth be known. Oh but that's a great front so I can't use that. Um, do you know what though I could use? How cruel would that be? <laughs> to mix the two. I think it would be just perfect. I mean it looks really close. Look. It has that same feel. Um. Hmm. Alright. Get this out of the way. And let me look at this again. If I, if I find my cover, we'll, we'll stick with this. And sometimes I do pick a busy cover, it just depends. so pretty too. I like that. All 
Alright. Hmm. Okay. I think we're going to stick with this. This is so hard. But you know what? I have another stack at home. So by golly, it's not that hard. Oh, I hate when that happens. It's tearing the paper. Okay, so this is going to be my cover. I think. I think that will be my cover. I think I'm going to put... This here, and I got my my gray tones. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, sorry, I was off screen, wasn't I? Um. I think I'm gonna do this differently. differently than I normally do it. Alright, so I gotta pick my side. Um probably gonna pick that side. That's gonna be my front. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is like I said I want to do something really different with this washi tape. And I think I can use it as a really cool design element. And uh, unfortunately, I did this after I already put my thing in, but that's okay. My binding, but that's okay. All right. Let's see here. Not sure yet, I'm still thinking. <laughs> okay, you know what? Y'all see what I have to choose from. I'm gonna put you on hold for just a moment. I'll be right back. All right, I am gonna save this for my, my front covers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out two sheets because you're gonna need two sheets for the front, back, and this side. Or at least I do. Um, I usually use the same for this. Well, it depends. Sometimes I do different for the side, but I like to put it away just so I don't think about cutting it. And it's, I'm contemplating on whether I'm going to put them in the book or not, uh, the pages I mean, and then cover them. But I think I think I'm going to cover them first. So, um, so now I just need to decide which papers. Are gonna go in my album and I did break this out y'all I told you I hadn't opened it yet and I did open it and I opened it for the cutter um, and I'm just curious to see how the cutter works it has see if I can do this <laughs> All right. that actually felt really nice and mostly because I don't trust this other thing so <laughs> That other thing is not been working out for me. All right, so usually what I do is I pull out the ones that I really like first. So, oof, that paper rips, y'all. Okay, so I'm pull that one out. Yeah, you can see that. And I really like the back of this one, so I'm going to pull out both of them. I may not need both of them, but I want to do that anyway. Alright. And then I love that one. So what we have are a front, 
we have a lot of stuff that we need to cover. So we're going to need a varied amount of paper. And I really like that one too. Nice. Oh, that looks nice. That has a lot of color. Definitely coming out. start with the first cover and I do like to write down measurements when I'm doing this so front this is Where I don't think any of these measurements are exactly right. That is so hilarious. Um, it's nine. <clears throat> it's either the ruler or the 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 cutter. That's nine and that's five. So nine by five is our main measurement on the front. Odds are. On the back, that's nine by five. And that is nine by five. <clears throat> Excuse me. Back is nine, nine by five. One, five, five. All right, so we're going to measure the pocket because I don't go all the way down. I just go down slightly. So this is going to be five by seven. Which we should know that, right? <clears throat> okay, so generally what I do is I take a fourth off. 
but I also measure it every time. So it's basically going to be eight and three fourths by four and three fourths for all the long pages. And then the pocket is going to be four and three fourths by seven. Okay. And then the pocket, the little actual pocket itself is going to be four and three fourths by seven. Because <clears throat> that's five, so it'll be four and three fourths. Seven. It's going to be four and three fourths by two and three fourths. All right. Measurements are pretty easy. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and right away I'm going to cut this one. To go on one of the, the front flaps. Uh, the, I think the front flap has to be the most um, exciting one or whatever. So I'm going to cut four images for my front of my, each page. And this is going to be eight and three fourths by four and three fourths. So four and three fourths. At least this board has the little all the little measurements. It has one eighth, one fourth. So that's pretty cool. All right. All right. And the really cool thing is, is when you cut it like this, you can use this part for the actual pocket itself because it's going to be the right width. Okay, so this is going to be eight and three-fourths, eight and three-fourths, which is right here, okay, oh, that's pretty nice, like a neck cutter, <laughs> all right, so that is going to be one of the pages. See the border on that? You might like more border. And you know, and if, if you want to round your edges and all that, you can certainly do that too. I'm not going to do that because I don't have any of that stuff here with me, but that's okay. I'm gonna just stick with the square. And uh, if you can see, taking one fourth off is a really nice thin border. Okay, so that's the first one. We're gonna put that right there. I'm going to get this Madame Payron paper out of the way so that I don't accidentally grab from that. All right. So we'll keep this because that could be a pocket. And we'll put that there. I'm going to use this for one of the front pages as well. So for and three fourths. Hmm. Okay. The really neat thing about this is um, this paper has a really complete different personality on one side and the other. So you're actually doing it. You can actually use this and it doesn't look like the same page. I think that's cool. Alright, so I don't really have to have the parcel post. I don't really like the pink rose. So I'm going to take that part off. Eight and three fourths. But 
it can be used on the pocket. So. here. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get that whole bird. Four and three fourths. Looks like we can. It would be nice to take that back to the top, wouldn't it? His beak is a little bit gone, but that's okay. Actually, I like that tree. Yeah, why don't we do the tree? Eight and three fourths. not a great cut because we're going to lose part of the bird. So I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try to get most of the tree in. Some of the tree in. Oh, that's that page. And I need one more image. color in that. <clears throat> oh, actually, I like that one. I just like that flower better. Okay. down just a little bit. Just so I can get that picture in there really good. Have decent composition. <laughs> okay. All right. 
And that is the fourth page. All right. So now I have all my color schemes predetermined. I am going to go get my ink because we need to ink the edges. And I do things weird. I'm going to go ahead and put those on. And then, um, and then I'm going to work on the insides of each one. So I will be right back. 